Alyssa and this is my partner Jonathan. About 12 months ago we uploaded a YouTube video on our channel about how to create the perfect hold and you guys loved it. It was definitely our best performing video so far so we thought we'd follow it up with another video um, to take your boring hold one step further. If you've ever had a lesson on the boring hold you know that there are so many aspects to talk about and so many things to learn. So that first video introduced you to the basics and today we're going to introduce you to three other aspects that we find important in the hold. In this video we're going to be talking about one point specifically for the man, one point specifically for the lady and then one share point. So with the Borum frame for the man, what we're trying to do is create a very very slick sharp looking top line. We all know, I think generally, that we have our elbow line from elbow to elbow running more or less straight through the shoulder line. Okay, so you probably would have heard that before. I'm pretty sure we covered that in our first video. Yes. Yes. So, what we're going to cover now is something about your left hand specifically. Okay, because if you have a beautiful elbow line or shoulder line, that's going to create a very, very slick looking horizontal line. And then from the elbows, we start to bend, correct? And then what we're going to do is we're going to be focusing on the angle of your left wrist and your left hand. So what we're trying to do is actually to keep the palm facing forwards the whole time. So what we don't want to allow is for your wrist to kind of turn in. And what we definitely don't want to allow is for your hand to turn and rotate to the right. So it becomes a little bit more vertical. That creates a much rounder look to your frame, okay? So we want to try to avoid that. We want to try to keep your left hand as flat and as sharp as we can, okay? So when I present the hand to the lady, I'm trying to present a flat top of my hand so that my index finger is parallel to the floor. That's going to create a very clear uh, target for the lady to aim towards with her right hand. So keeping a nice sharp line from elbow to elbow and also making sure that you have a very very clear line for your left hand to follow. I would love to show you guys how this looks. Just focus, so we're going to take hold quite a few times in this video, but this time just focus on the man's left arm, yeah? And maybe Jonathan will show us a couple of wrong ones and a couple of correct versions. So this is the good one, okay? So you can see that I've got quite a strong angle in my left wrist. Okay, now if I just change that slightly, Ooh. that's immediately had an effect on my partner's arm. It sure has. And then if I change it in another way to make it vertical, that's also pretty. It doesn't feel very good, I have to say. It's very difficult to maintain what I want to do with my right arm. Yeah. So I think that's, that's a really, really important point that all men learn because it makes you look better and it also helps your partner to look much better straight away as well. Yeah. So let's move on to um, the ladies' point that we're giving you today. What do I do with my head? Now the head is obviously an exceptionally important part of the hold for both the man and the lady but I think um, there is a bit more of a job to do for the lady in this position because it's much more extended. What I want to talk about today is simply where the head should be in relationship to our arms. So when I set up my head I want to make sure yes the arms are in their perfect position but my head Yes, it's to the left, but it has to sit outside of the hold, yeah? So what I'm doing here is that I'm angling my head, not my chest, not any other part of my body, but just the head and the neck so that I am positioned outside of that hold. What Talissa is doing beautifully here is that she's continuing the angle of her upper body into her head. So what would happen if Talissa had a beautiful curve through her body, but if her head was a little bit upright, you can see that the head is kind of slightly disconnected to her shape, or yeah. it might make her shape smaller in her body as well. Correct, and I feel a little bit underdone. So what I'm thinking about here is that my chin 
a very good and easy guide is that my chin is always staying outside of the hold. So I consider everything in front of my arms, the inside of the hold, and everything behind my arms is the outside of the hold. And that's where I want my head to be. I don't want it to cross that line and enter the inside. I want to keep it on the outside. Now, my last tip for this point is that when we are moving our head from left to right, you'll know that our promenade positions and some other very special positions, we quite often have our head to the right. We don't want to let our head enter that inside position at any point. So even when I am looking to my right, I am on the outside of my hold. Yeah, and if I transition, I'm not going to look into the inside of the hole. I am staying on that outside. Mm. That was very good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try together and I will show you how it works with my partner. Here I am, the outside of my hold. And you can see from all angles here that I am maintaining that position at all times. Now, if I show you the wrong position, this is me with my head still left, but I am inside of the hold here. Much less dynamic, much less space. Very simply transitioning from here to here, you can see the huge difference and impact that it has. Massive difference. Yeah. And it feels completely different as well. Right. All right, very nice. Thank you, Tilissa. You're welcome. <laughs> so let's move on uh, to our third and final point. Now, what we're trying to do with our boring frame is that we need to relate it to our partner. Okay, because we, we have to dance together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you've ever thought, oh my God, my partner is so heavy, <laughs> or Whatever, you know, it doesn't feel comfortable. You've never had I've never, I've never said that. <laughs> uh, or it just doesn't feel comfortable. Yeah. Or you're always trying to adjust. That's because you haven't found, found a way to link it together with your partner. Yes. Okay, so what we need to do in order to address our partner properly with our frame is that we need to acknowledge the fact that we are not dancing exactly front on to each other, mm -hmm. that we're dancing closed position, which is offset is that we actually need to both of us have to rotate our upper body to the right slightly not too much yeah okay but we don't want to be squared because that will ignore my left side will be a little bit ignoring my partner the lady will do it a little bit more because the lady has more shape than the man but we both rotate a little bit to the right so why don't we show the square and then we'll show the rotation. Yes, that's good. Now, I absolutely love doing this because I feel that it really opens up and stretches my left side. So I want to always feel in my ballroom dancing that I'm stretched and active and ready to dance. I don't ever want to feel too relaxed. Yeah. So I want to feel that stretch and it's easily done through this rotation. Okay, so we're gonna start by doing it square. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna to move to the... Okay, so still rotation. perfect hand, perfect head, but we are square. We're yeah. a bit square now, so you can see we're a little bit central. Okay, so what we're both gonna do now is slightly rotate to the right, the other body. So from square, rotate. This actually helps my head position immensely. It's much easier to achieve the chin and head position that we aim for. Why don't we show you one more time from the back? Sure. So you can see that we're a little bit square here, and then we're gonna rotate slightly to the right. And it feels much bigger. Very nice. One thing I will add to that is that the lady should start thinking about this slight rotation and this opening of the left side before she even takes hold with the man. So I very much try to approach my man after I've, after I've taken hold of the right side, 
uh, the right hand rather, I stretch open this left side and as I walk in, I commence that rotation as the man does. That felt even better. <laughs> That's the three points that we've chosen to talk about today. Don't forget them. What's the first one? First one is making sure for the man that you're aware of the angle of your left hand and keeping it nice and sharp. That's it. Second one is making sure that we have the positioning of the lady's head correct. Which is outside Side the frame. Outside of the hold. Outside of the frame. That's it. And then the third one is for both of us which is to project the left side slightly forwards and to the right to acknowledge our partner better. All right, well, we hope that you have found this video and information useful. And we hope that you can practice it on your own and with your partner and see some progress. Yeah, we want you to have a beautiful looking boardroom hold and we hope that these points help it. If you've gotten this part through the video, which uh, would we be would amazing. <laughs> love to see, um, just throw a dancing emoji in the comments so that we know who's gotten this far. We'll be very impressed to see who makes it all the way through the video. <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we'll be posting more videos very shortly. We sure will. Alrighty. Happy Thanks, dancing guys. guys. Bye.